Okay, the cat's out of the bag about Fender's new Ultra Series. We are going to now take in-depth looks at each of the models. We're going to start with probably one that we're the most excited about, which is the Jazzmaster. The first time that Fender has offered a Jazzmaster in a Deluxe Elite or now Ultra Series, so basically top-of-the-line series from the U.S. So we're going to look at all the specs and hear this beautiful guitar. Stick around. You're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. I'm Cooper Greenberg. We are here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and comment below. Let us know your thoughts on the things that we review. So as I mentioned at the outset, the Fender Ultra Series is now out. It's live. It's available. Uh, we've already done some introductions on what the overview of it is, and we did a video comparing it to the Elite model and specifically we compared a str uh, elite strat with a, a ultra uh, strat and so you know take a look at that video i'll put a link to it right there um, i think we came away from that video really impressed with the new pickups Absolutely. and what's exciting about this guitar is they're jazz master pickups they're jazz master pickups they're jazz master pickups they're jazz master pickups and they're noiseless yeah because they're in a jazz master and so yeah. that's really awesome so you know basically what we're looking at here is a fender Ultra Series Jazz Master, this one in beautiful mocha burst that we are all really kind of growing mm. fond of. Um, it's coming in a total of four different colors. So mocha burst, uh, cobra blue. It's also coming in the ultra, ultra burst. burst. And what was the third one? It's the plasma burst. The plasma burst. Yeah. That's right. Plasma and it, you know some of the the other features change with the color, like whether you have a rosewood fingerboard or a maple fingerboard, and the pick guard as well. Um, tortoiseshell or perloid or white or yeah. off-white, what have you. So, um, but I think more than anything, we love Jazz Masters. We're excited to have them available in the Ultra Series. And I don't want to talk too long because I really want to get to the sounds of this guitar and some of the functions yeah. that it does, which are really cool. And we talked about that. But, I, you know, Cooper, go over some of the specs that are common to the Ultra Series that this has and then what's going on with the switching. Yeah, like if you've seen uh, our other Ultra videos or anything else, you know that they got locking tuners, they got a modern D neck, this beautiful uh, contoured heel that's carved in this carve right here. Um, and, you know, they got S1 switching on all of them, and this one does a little something different. And a little something something. A little something something. Uh, you know, we talked in our strap video yesterday. Um, they, they really streamlined what's going on with the S1 switching. Um, and it's really discreet, but also it provides some, some options on the strat and the telly. And, the Jazz Master that are pretty pretty useful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so so we've got the cool colors. One thing about the Jazz Master that I, it was important on the pros. I think it's important on this. If anyone's played an older Jazz Masters, the bridge doesn't move around, yeah. doesn't buzz, doesn't shake, doesn't lose intonation. Uh, so it's really like the the mastery bridge. Um, other Jazz Master appointments, it, it it is a bound neck, uh, which I think adds a certain. Uh, look and aesthetic that is uniquely uh, jazz master to the guitar and really lets you know in addition to the offset body just from the very top if you're looking at the headstock only you kind of know what you're dealing with with the larger headstock and the the really cool you know jazz master logo that's been on there for years yeah. uh, but then of course coming to the noiseless uh, jazz master pickups and you know people always confuse these so I like to bring some clarification they're not P90s but they're like P90s mm -hmm. in that they are very wide flat single coil pickups yeah. and they have their own tonality to them that is very different yeah. from a Tele or Strat single mm -hmm. coil and then of course you have the special Jazzmaster circuitry and then some some uber cool stuff that's going on with the S1 switching yeah. so talk to us a little bit about what's going on with the two types of controls, what yeah. the S1 brings, and the tone that you can get out of it. So you got your three-way switch right here, like anything uh, going from neck and then both of them at the same time, and then your bridge pickup. Um, and this kind of classic rhythm circuit switch over here, it's a in-phase and out-of-phase switch. So when you're in the down position, 
you're in phase. When you go up, you're out of phase. Kind of Peter Green, style, yeah, is what yeah. people usually um, reference. And when you're in the out of phase position, these two uh, rolling volume knobs get activated and this knob controls the volume on your neck pickup. This controls the volume on your bridge pickup. So you can do some blending there. And um, I think that's that's almost cooler than typically you'd have volume and tone. tone. Yeah. So having that, it's like what you can do on a Les Paul in the middle position. Yeah. Being able to blend through the two, so you have really kind of a myriad of tonal options. Yeah, it's which is like, cool. it's you know it's more of a tone spectrum. You have two that you can blend, and, and it's very cool. And then you got your S1 switch, and the S1 switch in both in phase and out of phase um, puts these two pickups in series, correct? Yeah, and it's, yes. you described it as kind of like the blow switch we've seen on some other yeah. guitars, in that it doesn't really matter where you have that three-way toggle. Yeah. Once you hit that, it's both in series. So if you have it in bridge and you hit that, it activates the yeah. neck and puts it in series, either in phase or out of phase. Yeah depending upon where the switch is. So that's really cool streamlined yeah. functionality that I think really appeals to, you know, when you're changing on the fly. You know, you're in the middle of the song and you need to switch. Having too many options or having it be a little convoluted in what you're having to do can have too much complication in the middle yeah. of the song. So this, this makes it really streamlined and easy. Yeah, I think what you'll hear and what we've heard playing around on this so far is that kind of classic jazz master mellow thickness from the Jazzmaster pickups, especially when it's in series, both in and out of phase, it just brings a punch that's very, uh, very cool to have tonally on this guitar. Yeah, and then of course, since it's a Jazzmaster, you finally end at the bottom with the Jazzmaster tremolo system. And one of the things that I've always liked about this, and you have to put in perspective that Leo Fender designed the Jazzmaster later, really, the Jaguar and Jazzmaster were considered premium upgrades from the Stratocaster at the time, is you can lock this puppy. You know, you don't have to change the setup or anything. You can lock it in place, change tunings. So you can go from having the tremolo or not having the tremolo, yeah. really with technically kind of the slide of a switch or the flip of a switch. So um, all in all, really fantastic guitar. Yeah. Um, and I love the way it sounds. So we're gonna shut up because we want you to hear the beautiful sounds that are coming out of this. Um, that Cooper soon to own himself. Yeah. If you're if you're interested in the ultra burst uh, with the tortoiseshell pick guard, you can catch me playing it many places around town. <laughs> the first one's probably yeah. I think spoken and for. And you can uh, you know you can always order one from us. We'll get pre-order it, it and then he has to wait. So. That's messed up. <laughs> All right. So check it out. We're gonna go ahead and put it through its paces.
There you have it, the new Fender Ultra Jazzmaster. Like we said, it's available in four finishes. Your Cobra Blue, the Mocha Burst we have here, Ultra Burst, and the Plasma Red Burst. All of them are fantastic. I should say the Plasma Red Burst, it's an ash body with more figure. There's a little bit of a premium charge on there, but you know that's pretty much typical with Fender's line for several years at this point. All in all, I think it is a fantastic modern take on the Jazzmaster. It hasn't lost some of the unique attributes that a Jazzmaster has. In fact, what it's done is it's taken those, and like we've seen with the rest of the stuff, modernized them to bring them into the 21st century, and then giving you this great compound radius and neck shape and you know the carve on the back of it, and just, it's, it's like Jazzmaster Ferrari going on over it here. Is. It's a really cool guitar. Yeah, and I think that, you know, we, we did a video not, to, you know, maybe a year and a half ago, maybe more that was the American professional jazz master and there was a lot of kind of jazz master purists that were upset that they they got rid they of some of that got rid of, of it, yeah. yeah and so it's cool that this is kind of a return to you know having all the options maybe in a different way now but having keeping the know, functionality but maybe making it yeah. more useful for the modern guitar player absolutely yeah yeah, fantastic. So I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on the Ultra Jazz Master, really any of the new Fender Ultra series. So comment below. And like I said at the beginning, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. We'll keep producing them for you, putting them in out, and showing you uh, what's coming out, what's to come, and our opinion on everything uh, guitar-related. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope you are enjoying our channel. You might be interested to know that Alamo Music has two more YouTube channels. One for piano and keyboard enthusiasts, and the other, our Alamo Music Audio Lab channel that focuses on synthesizers, drum machines, and other things with Chris Klein. So, if you are interested in checking those out down in the bottom of the description, I have links to both of those channels. We hope to see you there as well.